Hello everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So I thought we'd do a handbag uh, video. I haven't done a handbag video for ages and I was just thinking the other day when I was looking back through some of my old videos, because obviously I've been on here a couple of years now and you think, oh my God, I'm starting to look old compared to my first few videos. So, oh, but never mind, we're all getting older. But I thought it would be quite interesting to do a handbag video because I haven't done one for quite a while. So. Um, I have owned this Gucci Marmont um, for probably a month or two now and I have used it loads so I've got a red one and a black one so I thought we'll do using the red one because I love the red one the colour is so lovely so it's size small um, and I just thought I would do a you know what you can fit in it and what they look like being worn because I know I've said this before, but a lot of handbag reviews, they talk about the bag and they show the bag and stuff, but they don't actually show it like actually being used. And that's something that I think when you're hunting for a new handbag is so useful to, to get an idea of the size. Because even if somebody gives you the measurements, I think you still can't sort of visualise what it's like. So I'm a size 12, um, I'm about 5 foot 6 I think. Um, so I thought we'll have a good a good play and get a good feel for the bag. So it's size small, even though it's not really that small. So when I'm out shopping, um, I tend to kind of just wear it on my shoulder um, and it does hang a bit lower. So um, I really like where it hangs. It hangs just below my bottom, but it's really, really comfy because obviously it's got this leather piece on the strap which stops the chain from digging into your shoulder because I've got some, I've had Chanel's and they don't have the leather piece and then the chain um, does stick in your shoulder as it does with the Mulberries uh, lilies, they, they also have a, a chain but that sticks into your shoulder as well so this doesn't because it's got the leather. Then you can adjust it to make it shorter so again then you would have a bit of chain on your shoulder so if you've got no top on your shoulder at the minute like I haven't you probably wouldn't wear it like that today but uh, it can be worn on your shoulder quite easily and then I love the fact because it's got this long strap you can wear it cross body Yay! I love it I love the fact that you can wear it cross body it's so so comfy and when you're out and your sort of arms are getting tired and or you've got a lot of bags to carry as I generally do end up with lots of shopping bags I don't know why um, but you can just shove it across your body yeah look you have hands free <laughs> it's just wonderful um so brilliant and it doesn't sit too high um so although you've got it high across your body i don't think it sits too high so it's nice and comfy so it still looks all right you don't look silly it's not like it's right up here um and like i say i'm five foot six so i'm not the smallest person and i'm about a size 12 which i think is a pretty standard sort of size so this is what it looks like so Let's look at the bag as well. So obviously it's soft leather, so it does scratch really easily. Um, it's got this lovely heart on the back, which is so cute. And then it's got chevron stitching. Um, they are slightly puffy as well. Each little bit that goes up is sort of squidgy and puffy. Then it has the gold GG logo on the front. Um, I think it's like an antique gold. Um, but I think the more I'm using it, it is starting to get a bit shinier, but I don't mind that. I think it's still lovely. Um, it's got two holes on the top, so obviously that so you can adjust the strap on each side. It has a special fastening, which you can just see under there. You push that, and then that pops open and lifts it up. So, what have we got in it? So, inside it, I have got, and I've been using this for about two weeks non-stop so I haven't swapped out of it so I don't really know what's in here so I don't think there's anything drastic in here so I always always carry my sunglasses I love my sunglasses I take them everywhere with me I generally wear them so if I have got my sunglasses on I put my glasses in here and then they fit in there so there's my sunglasses in their little sparkly Primark case <laughs> um, I've got my Louis Vuitton pochette which is the um, next size up I don't think this is the smallest one because I think my other one's smaller than this but I, last time I used my little Louis Vuitton cherry bag I did use this and I kind of didn't swap out of it so it just ended up getting put in here so really this is too big for the bag but that's my little pochette which has obviously got some 
a look what we have got in here. Not a lot, I don't think. Um, I've got a lip liner. I've got another little lipstick that I got free with a magazine. A Benefit, they're real. Mm, lip, lipstick. I've got my Avon Red Cream lipstick, which is my absolute favourite. If you follow me a lot on here, you know I wear this an awful lot. Most amazing red lipstick ever. And that's Avon Red Cream. And then I've also got my Christian Dior lip gloss, which again, I absolutely adore this in princess colour. So pretty, so shiny. I've got it on today. <laughs> so that's my little pochette. And then we've also got um, my car keys um, and then my six ring Liv Tan key holder, which is obviously quite quite a big sort of um, key holder thing to have. I suppose if you didn't have a key ring on your car keys, they'd fit in even easier. Then I've got my little purse, which is leather. It's like a lovely grained leather, but it's not it's not a designer make or anything. It says Monete de Jean on the front, um, and that's my little got all my bits of rubbish and stuff in there, but. Um, it's a lovely little leather purse. It's slightly smaller than my Louis Vuitton one, so it does fit in here really nice. Perfect. Perfect little size. And then I've also got good old chewing gum. Never go anywhere without chewing gum. I love it. Um, tissues, because Ruby had a cold. <laughs> There's loads of tissues in here. <laughs> More tissues. Um, some bits of chewing gum wrapper. Um, and then at the back, we've got... Oh, the little bits and bobs that came with the bag, so you get a spare bit of leather um, and the little Gucci tags, which I try and keep with the bag so I don't lose them in case I ever want to sell it or anything. So, that's the bag empty. So, as you can see, it's got a microfiber lining, which it does feel like this way, but it's not, but it's very, very soft. Um, and it's just one big compartment. And then at the back, it's got a zip compartment, which, again, you can keep your secret little bits and bobs in there if you want and that's got a leather little tag um, and then obviously you've got little holes that you can see from the underside um, like I say the leather does scratch so please be aware if you buy one of these if you're the sort of person that's you know really really fussy about your handbags I probably wouldn't recommend one because I've not really I've used it but I haven't got long nails or anything but it has still got lots of little scratches on it as you can see they don't bother me but some people it would really annoy um the corners are still okay a bit worn maybe slightly a little bit um and i've heard about the bottoms going saggy but again it's a handbag it's there to be used i don't believe in buying a handbag and just leaving it sat in its box you've bought it you wanted it so go and enjoy it <laughs> So that's it, pretty much. Um, so if you're looking at buying one, obviously they're not the cheapest thing in the world, um, but I did buy mine pre-loved because I know when they're new, they're well over a thousand pounds, so they're not cheap, are they? So um, if you check out pre-loved ones, um, there's a few around on eBay and stuff, but also be very careful because there is a lot of fakes out there as well. And I've heard that Gucci is like when they do fake the Gucci, some of them are really good so please be careful so if you do buy one pre-owned um get it authenticated you can get it authenticated it authenticate for you um i use those quite a lot they only charge uh five pound to authenticate your bag it's so worth it so you get peace of mind and you know that it's real so there we go so there's my lovely Gucci moment bag in the size small so as you can see you can fit an awful lot in it so just put it all back in and like I say this pochette is really too big for it but everything just sort of slides in really and then when you're out shopping it's really easy obviously you just put your keys in and fold it back over and then it just clicks shut there we go but it just everything just sort of slides in and it's just so easy you just lift your flap up and then you can get what you want and that's it yeah perfect so I hope this was useful because I know when I'm looking to buy one and people, they just sit there and go, oh, this is it, blah, 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 but you really, really want to get a feel for it. So this is what they're like. And also you can also, 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 you can also carry it sort of under your arm if you wanted to. And I think if you tucked the chain in, you may get away with using it as a clutch. So um, 
like if you took the chain in and the red bit in, she says, this is probably going to look awful, but you might get away with just using it as like a little clutch, so you could just have it under your arm, like so. Woo! <laughs> but it really is a versatile bag. Obviously, you can have it with your jeans and then it looks sort of casual and a bit chic, or if you really dress up very, very smart, it can also be a very classy handbag. So. I just think they're lovely. I really, really like them. I've obviously got a black one and a red one. I would love a pink one. They do a real, like, bubblegum sort of pink colour, and I think, oh, it'd be so nice. But, um, like I say, they do scratch, so please bear that in mind if you're thinking about buying one. So, I hope this was useful. I hope if you're looking to buy one, I hope I've inspired you to get one. Yay! So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy handbags, fashion, shopping and lots of other things then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram and Twitter as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady. So I hope this was useful. Any questions please put them down below and I will try my very best to answer them or help you out. So take care my darlings and I hope you have a lovely lovely day. Bye!